inside Apple's iPhone factory in China. I would be very surprised if you told me that you don't know about Apple. I mean, today, almost everyone is using Apple products and specifically iPhones. In 2018, it was reported that almost 45.1% of US smartphone users prefer the iPhone. Now, you know how popular Apple is among the people. There is no doubt that Apple has become a global brand today and people are going crazy about its toys, even if their prices are too high. Now, the question is, how Apple is grabbing the attention of this much larger audience? What is special about their products and how do they treat their workers? If we take a look inside the Apple factory, then it is a film that shows us what it's like inside the actual manufacturing plant. We will see the vast, wide open space where assembly lines and hundreds of Apple workers are busy, as well as the chaos. Rows of pallets, boxes, machines, and all sorts of different components. It's an entertaining and informative way to learn about the cutting edge technology that is making the iPhone and iPad and many more amazing products. But a lot of people ask, what if we can't go inside? Surely there must be some things we can learn from seeing. There is, and they are surprisingly revealing. The company is not hiding anything from us, just that they want to share the experience so we can have a better idea of what makes their products unique as well as how they get things done. Consider the iPhone and the iPad. These gadgets are huge, complicated, technology advanced, and completely unlike anything that has ever been offered before. When you put all of those parts together and combine them into one sleek piece, you suddenly have a phone that many people take seriously. A phone that requires no home to base it on and functions independently. And of course, there are apps for it, games, music, and countless other things that make it unique. Well, now you know a lot about Apple. so. Let's move to our main topic, which is inside Apple's iPhone factory in China. Some time ago, it was reported that Apple is accused of child labor within its key Chinese supply chain. It is said that Apple is not hiring workers as young as 14 directly. There is a company named Suyin Electronics, which is Apple's supplier, and this company employed young workers. Now, the question is, why are they doing this? It's probably because they want to keep up the interest in Apple's toys in the West. Well, Apple chided Suyin, but they still kept on working with them secretly even after this, years later. After this allegation, Apple brushed aside some allegations of suicides that were related to the manufacturing base over at Apple. So. Both of these things made us curious to know about what is happening inside the factory. So, in today's video, we will take a peek inside Apple's iPhone factory in China. Firstly, you need to know one thing that Apple's factories in China are not basically Apple's factories. The California tech giant subcontractors its manufacturing out to Foxconn Technology Group, which is also popular. It was founded by a Taiwanese businessman named Terry Go. You might be surprised to know that Terry Go is also known as Donald Trump of Taiwan, with a total worth of almost $5 billion. Now, if we talk about Foxconn, then according to reports in 2018, it is one of the biggest employers in China, having almost 1.3 million staff members. This company provides consumer electronics to multiple top-class companies like Dell, Samsung, and HP. But the company which makes Foxconn this very famous is Apple, without a single doubt. If we take an average, then 50% of the whole world's iPhones are manufactured on the outskirts of Zhengzhou at a sprawling Foxconn facility. Now, if you don't know what Zhengzhou is, then let me tell you, it is a city with a population of 9.5 million people in Yuan province. Locals of Zhengzhou named the Foxconn plant as the iPhone city, which is pretty suitable. Mostly, the number of staff workers at this plant is near 350,000, and most of the workers live in dormitories on site. When the company releases a new iPhone, this plant can make nearly 500,000 units per day, which means 350 every minute. Inside the Zhengzhou plant, which is basically for the final stage of iPhone's assembly, nearly 400 different parts are opened and carried out by the workers. Some employees have to do the same thing again and again every day, and doing that can be as boring as fitting a single screw in the same place repeatedly, and can be as interesting as soldiering. In 2017, Dayan Zing, who was a student at NYU, went undercover in the Zhengzhou Foxconn plant. He went there to investigate the situation of labor in the factory. He worked there for six weeks and made some reports after that. So, let's see what he got from there. 
According to the reports, when he went to get hired, he saw a large queue of applicants and when he went inside, they asked for his identification. Then he worked in the plant on an assembly line with around 200 other workers. Their work was to assemble hundreds of mobiles. Zhang said that the work was tiring and boring, but still, he didn't talk about any kind of abuse rather than a supervisor yelling at the time. The main and the strongest point of his reports was the overtime was voluntary and workers had to do that because they are not trying to get fired. It was reported somewhere else that the Chinese government talked about it to keep this business running without any problem. During the release season of the new iPhone, a speaker is reported to yell at a diligent and optimistic workers. It was also said that the people of Huan set quotas for workers that the province should provide to keep the factory running smoothly. Now, if we take a look at the gender balance in the Zingzhou plant, then it's almost equal. The age of a typical factory worker is 18 to 25 years, and interns are a little young. At the same time, underage workers have been reported, in which it was clear that almost 12 15-year-old kids were working in the three Apple factories, but still, not a single report said that the Zingzhou and Foxconn plant was directly involved in this. As the factory needs maximum workers present all the time, that's why the workers live close to it. Most workers live in dormitories, which are almost 12 stories high, with a room for eight workers and only a single bathroom on each floor, which means 200 people have to share the same bathroom. Some undercover investigations about the Zingzhou Foxconn plant revealed that Apple is forcing its workers to resign during busy times. A worker of the factory who was hired to wipe polish onto the LCD screens said that she had to handle almost 1,700 phones per day, so it was surely boring work. But still, there are things worse than this. Well, the pressure of working six days a week and meeting family only on Sunday is so much for this kind of job. If we take a look at the common complaint of workers on the Zingzong Foxconn plant, it's that the work is boring. And the same thing was experienced by Zeng. When he worked there for six weeks, he said that he started hating it really quickly. Some workers on the plant said that most people get bored after some days of joining, so when they get disinterested, they leave the job. Other workers claimed that it was not their childhood dream to build iPhones. So we can say that the Zingzhou Foxconn plant is no worse or better than other Chinese factories where the same people might have to work. Obviously, there are a lot more allegations against Apple, though they are not related to the Zingzhou plant. According to reports, Apple has been building products by forced Uyghur labor, a Chinese minority who suffer awful working conditions, and except this, they face wage theft by unscrupulous overseas too. As indicated by the New York Times, administrators in the United States have proposed legislation intended to check American organizations' capacity to utilize forced weak labor. According to Apple, they are trying to weaken the bill, and they also say that Apple did not influence the law. And for MacBook manufacturers at Suin, I talked about that in the beginning. When this issue became a little bold, Apple told the firm to solve the issue or lose the business. But still, Apple didn't stop working with Suin. Previous workers from the Provider Responsibility Group at Apple told correspondents from the data that the Syrian incident was not isolated and that benefits, unfortunately, appear to have been the main thrust between decision making. So, what does the future resemble for Apple and its plant as expectations for everyday life in China definitely improve? So does the expense of work, thus the industrial facilities may move somewhere else. Recently, Foxconn was found in steaming hot water for misrepresenting its staffing requirements for Apple to get benefits unlawfully from the Californian firm. So it's not generally a comfortable connection between the two beasts. Most relevantly, in 2017, Zhang saw that few stations on the production line were under robots referred to in-house as Foxbots. It is a trend that will doubtlessly proceed. Anyway, iPhones are designed and going ahead into the future. We should simply trust that Apple's working practices to satisfy the company's grand brand goals and those modern devotees of Steve Jobs can help somebody at any point to find a decent line of work. So, that's it folks, we are done with our day's topic, which was inside Apple's iPhone factory in China. Now, it's time to share your thoughts. So, what do you think about this factory and the condition of the labor inside? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos.